the ability to make decisions very quickly with the amount of information you have at the time. Flexibility is a huge thing. There are things that happen minute to minute in this job that you will need to maybe change your plan. You're doing multiple things very fast, so that's what they consider multitasking, and a little bit of patience because you're not always working with professional pilots. Confidence in decision making. Those go hand in hand with one another because you have to be confident that your plan is actually gonna work. So being able to make a split second decision at any moment is also very crucial. Technology in aviation has came so far. In just the 20 years I've been doing ATC, I started with toggle switches on frequencies and now we have touch screens. You have to have these upgrades or, or it just would not run smoothly. Human factors are real in everything that we do and humans are subject to different biases. So we use technology to help us do a better job. We have tools on the radar that where I look at it and think, okay, those, those are gonna be separated by far enough. But if I wanna double check, I can click on some things and the computer will measure that for me. That's one of the tools that we have we could use. The introduction of ADS-B technology is going to be very advantageous to us because right now, if we see a target that's in a unsafe place on our scope, maybe they're right in the middle of all of the arrivals going into Raleigh, that's not a very good place for them. Maybe if we could reach out and find out what their tail number is and we can reach out on our guard frequency, that is something that everybody is keyed up on. Maybe we could say, hey, November 1, 2, 3, 4, you're not in a very good place. I need you to fly northbound for about five miles and maybe they could get out of the way. The introduction of ADS-B, once it begins, will really help controllers, especially in areas of low radar coverage. Once the aircraft are required to have it and everybody has it, it will just, it will help out tremendously being able to see aircraft in places where radar coverage wasn't available before. It gives us the opportunity to see planes where normal ground surveillance radar might not see them. Uh, specific examples would be over the ocean. We don't have any radar sites out there. So with ADS-B reporting out to satellites, back down to sensors and back and forth talking to each other, it actually paints that picture where everybody could see it. Right now on a radar, I can see all the airplanes and where they're at and I try to tell everybody where everybody else is and what they're doing. With ADS-B, the pilots will also be able to see that in the cockpit. They'll be able to see where other aircraft are and help give the pilots a better situational awareness as, w as well of what's going on in the airspace around them. If you're interested, definitely go to a facility, whether it's air traffic control, whether it's an airport, get your hands dirty with it. Like you won't know what it's like until you're actually there. Take that step forward. If there's a career fair and you see people there, go for it. There's, I would say less than 20% of air traffic controllers are female and we want to get that number higher. So especially being a woman, but for all of you that are interested in air traffic control and aviation, go and ask questions, put yourself out there because no one's going to give you the information. Things aren't going to land in your lap. You have to put yourself out there. You have to ask questions. You have to push forward and ask for more knowledge and, and get your hands dirty, like she said earlier, and, and just get in there and um, find out what you want to do and, and go for it.